Hello, everyone. Wow. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome. Welcome. I've been hearing good things about Hotel Transylvania. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and this is how it's starting. Yeah, we're gonna just keep that, just because the mess ups are actually starting to be funny. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the YouTube Editor's Perspective podcast. <clears throat> So we have had a very irregular release schedule as of late. AKA Lone's a lazy fuck. That and we've had some issues with just recordings like comp rows were unavailable for about a week and a half and business was that didn't stop you from uploading it. Yeah. Oh yeah, that one that was me. I'm not I'm not trying to curve the blame from that. That Oh what's this? You're not uploading the things? Let me mention it five times in this podcast. Yes, I'm not Remember uploading. Remember when I things. didn't upload that one video? You're an evil. Yelling. Yelling, yeah. That's what we do. That's what we do. All right, so just uh, just pretty much since we haven't been able to, we actually we haven't all of us. It's probably the first time. But I mean, yesterday, which we will now tell what we were doing yesterday. But we yeah, really, whatever the hell that was being said, we haven't really been able to talk all together in a little while now, actually. No, we have not. We've all been pretty separated. Yeah. Um, but if there's around time of when we all come back together again. Yeah, but uh, yesterday we actually <laughs> s- funny. finally submitted our Yomacon AMV tutorial panel. Woo! <laughs> this shit's happening, ladies and gentlemen. If you're listening to us, the whole three of you. Oh, we get a lot of downloads. Yeah, I was going to say, we get downloads, man. Mm, Proceed I'm only starting, cares I'm, about I'm, YouTube. I'm starting to believe they're bots. <laughs> I'm starting to think it's just bot numbers. But I don't know. But anyways, um, but yeah, so it's pretty much just gonna be like AMV tutorial, going over a whole bunch of stuff, masking, action, genre, like different genres and stuff like that, different techniques, yada yada yada. We'll have examples. Try to throw in a little humor, PG-13 humor. From the podcast, I'm not sure if that's possible, but <laughs> we will try our best. Keep, we Roll, can do it. Not to keep proceed from cursing. Yeah, bro, <laughs> that needs the filter. <laughs> we'll just, like put a bane mask on him every time we think he's about to curse. We'll just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that won't work. It's like shock him. All of a sudden, there will be a bomb, and everybody dies <laughs> except Batman. Because there'll be at least one Batman there. We know that, bro. Yes. We saw Bane at um, uh, MatsuriCon. Do you ask him for his permission to die? Nope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, uh, God. Actually, I, <laughs> oh, that movie. I wanted to talk about... Uh, I had... Uh, this just upstairs. You might actually be able to hear my roommates laughing if uh, they get loud enough. But uh, there's this card game that we discovered very recently here at my house. That is incredibly hilarious, especially when inebriated. It is called Card Games for Humanity. There's probably some people that listen that know what it is. Actually, I know for a fact that a Brother has played the game before. And they actually had a pretty interesting combination that I'll probably uh, rattle off or something. I think. Uh, actually, I kind of forget it, so I probably won't. Anyways... For people that know what Apples to Apples is like, it is exactly like this game, but, like, raunchy and awesome. Like, All right. It's pretty much you have these black cards. What's Apples to Apples? <laughs> it's, it's, I'm going to explain pretty much. It, what I'm going to explain is pretty much like Apples to Apples. It's a card game. But uh, you have these black cards that have some kind of scenario. Like, uh, there's ones that just have one blank, or there are blanks in them. Some will have one blank, two, or three. And, uh, like... An example of, like, a two-blank one is, like, blank is a slippery slope that leads to blank. And, uh, pretty much then you have white cards, like, hundreds and hundreds of these white cards that just have a whole bunch of different, like, people or situations or, th- like, just different, like, random things. Like, um, Michelle Obama's arms, um, the Virginia Tech Massacre, uh, Glenn Beck... It's like the people didn't like Glenn Beck. There's one that is literally a paragraph about Glenn Beck uh, getting his brain eaten by a whole bunch of flesh eating crabs that are pouring out of his tear ducts. Like, <laughs> makes sense. Yeah, there's just like one, but like the one that I got last weekend that like was just it 
there's a few that like actually work perfect. Oh, there's one. It's like, what is Batman's guilty pleasure? And there's a card in there that says dead parents. <laughs> we have not been able to get that combination yet. We're just waiting. I got, I actually today, uh, earlier as those like Batman's guilty pleasure, I got police brutality that one around pretty much if like pretty much like you get a whole bunch of cards from the other players and then like you read them off with the context of the black card and whoever wins gets that black card and at the on all the black cards have been played whoever whoever has the most black cards wins but uh the one i was talking about slippery slope i had uh pixelated bukaki is a slippery slope that leads to court uh coat hanger abortions why yep <laughs> all righty then <laughs> This game this just hey, game. it is, <laughs> and it is hilarious. I'm bringing it with me to Yomacon, and we are playing it. It is awesome. Is going you, bro? <laughs> but uh, anyways, so how have you guys been since we have not been able to talk really? Borderlands. Borderlands. Oh, yeah, I can imagine. I. That's a game I'm probably... Gonna, I want to play Borderlands 1 before I play 2, though. I've not played Borderlands 1. You haven't played 1? Mm-mm. Like... I've been replaying a lot of stuff in preparation for games that are coming out that I know I'm getting. What have you been playing? For example, I played through Resident Evil 4 and 5. Have you Borderlands played those State. before? Yeah, i played those before. Then why play them again? Because I've learned to. playing something new like Borderlands. Mm-hmm. Borderlands it, it, as a whole is just about a billion times better than Resident Evil 5 or 6 will ever be. Uh, I thought you were about to say 4. I was going to dispute that one. No, no, I'm not an idiot. <laughs> and then I, um... Well, Pokemon's a different story. That just occasionally I'll have the urge to play it. And, yeah, playing that. But, uh... What else was I playing? I was replaying uh, KOTOR 2 because it got released on Steam. But I might be replaying Assassin's Creed pretty soon <clears throat> for three. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I've been playing. A lot. I've been just replaying a lot of stuff just because there hasn't really been anything new so far that has appealed to me greatly. Which I mean, Borderlands, I really need to play it. Yes, it's like the only two games I'm getting at least that are coming out are Resident Evil Six and Assassin's Creed Three. Those are the only two games that really interested in. That's the only two games I'm buying this year as well. My Kevin's Kevin's brother actually just bought uh, Dead or Alive Five, and so far I'm rampantly impressed with it. Hmm. And then two, I probably won't buy it, but I'll definitely rent Halo Four, probably to play campaign with my roommate. Oh. And uh, oh. and then the, the then the, then the Wii U. I was so pissed. Bayonetta! I I call. <laughs> Oh, uh, actually, I, we ha- I haven't been able to talk to you about that. <laughs> How do you feel about that? What is that garbage? <laughs> Why? <laughs> be, there would be no Bayonetta 2 if Nintendo did not pick it up. So if they want it exclusive to them, they can have it. It's better to have it and, garbage. and know that one garbage. day you can get it garbage. than it never to happen. Garbage. I think he'd rather not have it than have it. I would rather phone. not have it. I have it. heard this argument from people that they'd just rather not have it. Yeah. People just have such a negative connotation with the Wii just because of what, like, just the whole motion thing and how it pretty much, it, like, for, like, you had to play the motion controller for the most part anyways, besides, like, Smash Bros. But, uh... Oh, okay, so... I called, like, when the day that the price got announced, I called GameStop and saying, like, can you reserve the Wii U? And they're like, oh, yeah, man, you can. Just, uh, pretty much, it's like, well, you have the reservations for both models. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Problem is, I didn't ask how long. Yeah, about that They only that one. had it for two days. I came in the uh-huh. next week. They're like, oh, no, we stopped reservations. I'm like, you got to be fucking kidding me. Because I think I've told the story of my manhunt for the Wii when it first came out. Yeah. I've told that story before. And uh, I didn't want to have to do that again. I'm going to have to do that again. Either that or I'm camping out somewhere. There's no point. You're not going to get it. I don't know. There really, there really is just no point. You're not going to get it. Dude, you probably could have told me that too, you know, six years ago with the Wii. I got one. Lightning doesn't strike the same place twice. 
That's a good thing. I'm Bonus not, I'm not in the same place. I'm on the other side of the state. Ha <laughs> I think your computer has something to say about that. <laughs> no, my computer's only struck by lightning once. once. God, if you're listening, we, we need an example. Wait, what? So, God, if you're listening, we need an example right now. Make it strike the same place twice. Find no, out. Disconnect. See, that would see you're, you're praying for lightning for God to strike the house of the, the house of, of a bunch of devout Catholics. It's just not going to happen. <laughs> It would have to like, it would have to like arc itself through a window and at me directly. Can't hear DA. DA is very tired and mumbling to himself. DA needs to nut up and shut up and just get louder. I said that there was a lot of Christian buses that turned over. One that happened last year that killed about forty people. Interesting. <laughs> I'm gonna make dark. Make a... You think you'd want to take out the the pedos or the non-believers, <laughs> not the not the people that are praising you? So, uh, I just don't really like these people. They they, they talk too much. Push. <laughs> Maybe God just needed a preacher. <laughs> but uh, actually, one thing I I mentioned this earlier that I wanted to talk about is uh, we're probably very late to the bandwagon talking about this, but. I'm assuming most people that are on the internet by now have heard of Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style, yeah. BGDA, I'm guessing you've heard of this. No, I have no idea what it is. What? You've never heard of Gangnam Style? No. Okay, no, hold on a fucking minute. Yeah, so you send him a link because I can't. Music will blare. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you're about to hear what happens when uh, the Comp Brothers listen and watch the Gangnam Style video. Basically, Gangnam Style is this Korean. Uh, I I, I can explain I, it. This got this Korean J P or K pop artist named Psy. He's, oh, I know of this. Yeah, he's you been know of this. Have do you know it? I refuse to listen to it. Watch and listen. Trust me. He watch refused. <laughs> no, I was about to say. You're watching. I refuse something. to do something. You do no. it. Sure. No. Just do it. Click it and watch it. There's a reason why it's playing on the radios here. Yeah, it's so a Korean. It's so bad, it's good, probably. No, 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 no. Actually, this is actually very good. It, no this is possibly, and this is for okay, me. Okay, we're listening to it. This is you know Holy me. Holy sh! No. Look at them views. I know. I can hear it. <laughs> here too. So pretty much while they're listening to it. K-pop singer from Korea, Psy. He's been in the K-pop industry for about 12 years now. Pretty much, this is a six album, and this the single that was released, Gangnam Style, pretty much, he released a music video on YouTube in Korea, just pretty much just for Korean audience. Turns out, pretty much, it got noticed in America and blew the hell up fucking exploded immensely like... and like even just pretty much and two like most of the time i mean i don't want to sound like you know america but like once something blows up in american shores it'll get passed around to all around the world oh that's just how this goes but uh so it just gets everywhere and then like literally like i think at actually i just found this out today at around when the, the video was, was like nine days after the video came out, i was like at one point four whatever million views it, like <laughs> low for what it is now um, mm-hmm. the, I don't know the guy's name, but Scooter, it's the guy who, like, found Justin Bieber and a whole bunch of other, like, now big names. Yeah. I, it pains me to say that, but... <laughs> Anyways... Excuse the, me, but what is the appeal of that? Just keep watching. No, we've already seen it. We've seen the dance that I know of. We're done. Yeah, I've seen several memes with that. I've always wondered where it came yeah, from. Yeah, we're, we're done. But what is the appeal of that? <laughs> It is a very catchy, it's upbeat comedy. song. No, it's not. It's comedy. No, it's not. Explain the whole yourself. Fucking world loves it. I don't. Hipster. <laughs> hey, yes. Do you like it? Ooh. Do you like it? You just call me something, then I'll. What, do you like it? <laughs> oh, not. There you go. He just called me by my nickname, and that's not what we are referring to me as here. 
when I get <laughs> agitated, I'm not gonna say D. You you realize I never say your name when I'm agitated. I never say. <laughs> But anyways, <laughs> what the? Why are you laughing? <laughs> I'm just listening to you. Too. You said my nickname. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, so <laughs> you fucking idiots. The guy, the scooter guy, who whatever I don't know his last name, but uh, the guy, he's pretty much found Justin Bieber, found a whole bunch uh, of different you're artists. About scooter Braun. Yes, yeah, scooter Braun. Contacts Psy immediately signs him pretty much and like the thing though that I actually was happy about for people that actually like the song BGDA is that he pretty much like told Sai he's like we want to bring this to America but we're not going to change it it's going to still be in Korean it's going to still be how it is pretty much we want to keep it exactly how it is and pretty much he's been doing this publicity tour around the U.S. as of very recently, like two weeks, two weeks ago, he was on Saturday Night Live. He's been on the Elden Jenner oh, show. Yeah, he's been on the Today Show. Uh-huh. As Proceed was telling about, he's now actually on radios in America. Yep, he's, and uh, he plays not rampantly often, but it plays often enough. And he's just like, like in, in in the length of a car ride to a, to class in, in a half an hour, it was heard it was heard four times. <laughs> Excuse me, but what is the appeal of that song? Again, it's, I say. It's, hey, hold on. I'm, going to, I'm, hold on. I'm actually going to make this comparison because this is basically what I compare it to. If you've heard the song, you've looked at the video. And if you look at the video and you associate with the song, it's basically the same reaction you got from watching one of Eminem's earlier videos, like The Real Slim Shady. No, and it's no, it's not. Yes, it is. I it's don't, that I don't same, feel... No, 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 stop. No, no, no. The reason why you're saying this is because it's not in English... Basically, it's the same phenomenon. I don't need to know the song to look at a funny video. It's the phenomenon. That's that's what it's how people. It's what people. Uh, um, it's what people. Uh, what's it called? Um, associate it with. Basically, it's a it's a funny song. It doesn't really mean anything. It's a joke, but it's got a catchy beat, and it's and the guy who's singing it sounds good. The thing too, like there's pretty much what the what the, the, the s- that sticks in your head. Yeah, what the song means. Because after I mean after I heard the song, I wanted I, to actually learn about I, it. Like, uh, Gangnam is actually a rich area in Seoul, Korea. Or Seoul, or however you pronounce it. But it's pretty much, it's like, it almost compared to, like, Beverly Hills, it's pretty much, it's like, it's, cl- like, all classy and vogue and nice and beautiful. And pretty much, it's like, I think, uh, Sai himself said it, he said it's classy during the day, but, like, crazy during the night. So pretty much just saying, like... Cali. It's the Cali of, of Korea. Pretty much, yeah. And it's just yeah, pretty this much. It seems to me like a catcher in the rye situation where the fans are actually trying to interpret it their own way, even though there's nothing to gain from it. No, I, I, no I, it's what? Everyone, who, <laughs> everyone who I know who listens to this song doesn't just listen, just listens to it for the fact that it's there and it sounds catchy. That's basically yeah, it. Yeah, I just whatever. I wanted to look into it to learn more. But uh, and it's pretty much it's, it's the song is a parody <laughs> of. There, song, Mike. Huh. We're kind of smarter than the average bear. So, yeah, I mean that's but kind of uh, like, pretty much just like the song oh. itself is a parody of Gangnam Style. That I mean, that's the whole thing. Like, like his, the whole it's horse dance, hit, like uh, what's his uh, size? So he's like, look classy but dance cheesy. That's pretty much the whole thing behind the horse dance. And uh, it's because I mean, the beginning of the video it shows him zooming out. He's like imagining himself. He's like on a beach somewhere. He's in a children's playground. This like uh, or. It's in a sauna with you know a fat sumo dude. Excuse me, what what is the appeal of that song? You, you know you know what I equate this to with the whole dance cheesy look whatever. It reminds me of rap songs that have dances for hooks. It's catchy, the words are meaningless, and you equate the dance to the song. And when it comes on, you want to do the dance. But overall, it's kind of degrading to the music itself. Even if it's a parody, which, uh, let's say, Kesha, who's supposed to be self-parody, is still a bad song, or it's not a song I enjoy. It's not an actual song. It's a joke. That's what I. T- that's what. It, that's what all it is. He's not like. He's not a serious music st- music artist. He's like a comedian music artist, basically. Like in his video, even he even has a a, a Korean comic a, a comic 
in the video. The guy in the yellow suit is a cop, is a comedian in Korea. It, it, that's just his way. It's just this is his comedy. It's a joke. A weird Al Yankovic of Korea. Yeah, basically, it's all you're taking it as. Like you're over. And you're, if you can't understand the joke, then how is this funny? But the thing is, when you you're overanalyzing it right now, like if no, it's, it's not. If you're if overanalyzing I, it right now, if I like, mute, if I mute, if I mute, uh, weird out. Look, if you can't understand the joke, if a Korean comedian came up to you right now and told you a joke in Korean, all he did was flail his arms a lot as such. It doesn't make it funny or anything. You don't understand the joke. You don't understand what he's saying. To be it's honest, just... I didn't need to, I didn't need to understand the joke. The first part of the song, I laughed at my ass at the video. Same here. I laughed my ass up at it. What did I walk in on? <laughs> we're anal it, we're, BG and DA are overanalyzing Gangnam Style. DA is oh, well, then I have a video wanna... to show you then real quick. Hold on. Uh -oh. DA just wants to know the appeal of it. I don't know. And I just got done doing work, and I swear to God, my fucking uh, my basic office teacher's a fucking cunt. <laughs> Uh, Welcome right. to the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, hello, everyone. Um, no, like, fucking. She has us alphabetizing words of lists of words. But it gets to the point where she has us doing movie titles. There's four full pages of titles. And we have to take all four pages and put all of them into alphabetical order. Combine them on the one page. I don't care. The <laughs> I can give can rain from the sky like Salvadorian's tears. I do not care. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Salvi. Uh, and they're in friggin' joy. And I, that's where he walks in, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I cannot watch it just for the sole fact that the recording will stop, so <clears throat> let me know. <clears throat> oh, I am so thankful for Phil. Hey. But DA, to answer your question to me, the song is just fun. You know what I'm going to do for y'all right now? Oh, I've seen this already. I've seen this already. Bro, you just linked that video by Sai? The uh, the one where, he's, where he has featuring Yuna? Yeah. Yep. I'm going to give you a Kesha song, and I want you to play the Kesha song while watching that video. And tell me you still laugh. Kesha song? Just kill yourself. No, because it, I mean, like, please, 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 DJ, please, or DJ. DJ I just watched the video that, that, that John, John linked, and I'm still laughing. It's like, it doesn't matter. The video is funny, and the song itself is funny. I laugh the at it. The song is so funny when you don't understand the song. The, a no, the atmosphere of the song. Dude, the thing is, hold on, I'm going to put it like this, too. I don't care if I can understand it. If I like it, I like it. I don't care what the language it is. That's, that's not the... When I listen, no, no, because you're no, you're saying that it's not the same because it is. When I was in freaking middle school and I first watched Evangelion, I ripped the opening of Evangelion and put it on my MP3 player. Did I understand a word they were saying? No. Did I love the song? Yes. Loving a song is fine. Finding a song funny when you don't yes. understand the humor is something different. No, it's not. It's yes, it is. I listen to K-pop. I listen to J-pop. I listen to J-rap. I, I listen to all these things. I don't understand it, but I like the beat. I like the way they... The way, when I heard the song, but, I took it for what it was. I took it as instantly... See, the thing new. is, too, um, BG, I don't, immediately I when we brought it up to you, you had a negative connotation of it already because it was popular. Because we were going to show it to you, you were like, I have refused to no, watch no, it. No, 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 because I was completely completely mistaken because there was some dude on a, a forum that was talking about this guy had made, like, the worst song ever, and he was from, like, Korea. And that's what I thought it was. I knew nothing about this. That's something it's I... It's just, I don't know. To be honest, the first time I heard the song... I, I loved it. My, my Kevin, Kevin's brother, Kevin's younger brother, Brian, he actually gets really happy when he hears a song. Like he gets energetic when he hears the song. Mm -hmm. His mood picks up and he wants to do shit. And it's, it's a club song. But I mean, it, it, it's... I don't, I, I don't see it as a comedy song. It's, I, I don't know. When I first heard it, I just laughed. I heard it when I watched it. I don't see it as a club I song. Laughed. I see the club song as like just bass and... Yeah, this isn't a club Shit. song at all. This is, like, just fun. I mean, the whole beat of it sounds like... 
What's uh... the beat itself sounds like a joke beat to me. Yeah. I'm sorry, it just sounds generalized, but done in a comedic manner. Again, and I was gonna say, it sounds I'm like the sick, right oh, now, like it's... Kim Jong Il's music career is the fucking best. <laughs> <laughs> but it sounds like the uh, Six Flags thing, the like dun 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 dun. Yeah, like it's just wow, fun. We do that at the same time, we're fucking nerds. You know that. But yeah, oh, and that goes into that topic. But yeah, just like it just has like a f- more fun beat, comedy beat. And that's what I just see. Like, it's just as fun. And actually, I heard very recently, just because someone uh, sent to me on Facebook an orchestral version of Gangnam Style. And I'm sorry, what? Yes, an orchestral version of it. But, uh, and just because... Somebody please, somebody please listen to the Gangnam Style and then listen to Sexy and I Know It Ooh, and tell me it's not Jesus. It's that much different, the beat. The video I sent to Twitter. Gotcha. Sexy science guy. Please listen to them both and tell I've me that the them, beat I, is not a club beat. I've heard them combined before, but that's not hard to do with any kind of pop song, though. That's not that's not answering the question. It's a club song. It it, it makes you get up and it makes you want to move, but no it's not the, um, comedic or anything. What do you need? Yeah. Camera. Camera what? Yeah, battery charger. Um, no. Oh. It, it's, it's probably in the room. Like, I'm sorry, it's just what makes it comedic to me is his voice, to be honest. I just hear his voice, and I don't know, I smile and want to laugh. Just, just how, it's just, I don't know. I don't know. That's it, it, fine. It, that's, that's my reaction to it. I heard the song, and I just started fucking laughing. I, I watched the video, and I laugh harder. I don't know, it's just, it's the small things that I watched, and I pick out, like, that little kid dancing in the beginning, the, the fucking serious face dancing kid, that killed me. I laughed hysterically. Like, that kid's the shit. When when he's sitting there and that girl is doing and that girl is like um doing that exercise and he's sitting there like his jacket's half up and he's just yelling towards her and that, that just that fucking killed me I was dying the elevator and, and the elevator scene also is Kevin's face Jesus Christ are you finding the song funny or the video funny both I'm I'm putting it both okay his so I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna analyze them both then because this his, is this is the what voice I mean. the voice he sings a song in. I don't know. I could never take it seriously. I just laugh and enjoy it. Gilbert Gottfried has a funny voice, but if he tells a bad joke, it's not funny. Oh, For him reading Fifty Shades no, 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 no. of Grey. Hold on. I'm going to put it like this. It's the joke isn't funny, but the way it's the way it's um, oh, uh, what is this? The way it's um, the way it's acted is. The way the joke is portrayed is funny, but the joke itself isn't funny. So you can laugh at the at the way the bad joke was told. But not the joke itself, and find it funny. I could, yeah, I can agree with that. Just like almost like, say, maybe you have like a script for like some kind of show or something like that. A good example of something I heard in the Rooster Teeth podcast for uh, Breaking Bad. Oh, hold on, no, no, hold on, I'm gonna put it like this too. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt, but here's the best. Uh, here's the best example. Who watched Christopher Walken on SNL? The needs more cowbell skit. Yeah. Did that make you laugh? Oh, the Chapagne yeah, was, was... That was such a stupid joke, but the way he portrayed it was hilarious. Same situation. But uh, as I was saying, for uh, Breaking Bad, granted I have not watched the series, that's something else I need to watch, but uh, there's a scene where, like, uh, Brian Cranston, who plays Walter White, the main character, like, there's a scene where he's just, like, talking to some other guys, like, say my name. It's like, I don't... It's like, I don't know who it is. Oh, yes, you do. It's like, I'm the man who... I'm not going to say spoilers, but I'm the man who did this and that. And he's like, now, say my name. And he's like, you're Eisenberg. And he's like, you're goddamn right. But the way he pulls it off, like, to me, that, like, if just, like, reading that off a of script, that sounds stupid. But the way he pulls it off in character worked. Material could be stupid, sound stupid, but portrayed right can make it funny or make it entertaining. I'm sorry, it takes more than a funny voice to make me laugh. See, you're... I, I'm, really I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm everything. fine, I'm fine if the delivery is good and funny no, and it's like I'm... that, but if it's just like, I mean, I mean, and it's just some voice, I mean, I can't find that funny. Because you overanalyze everything. It's not overanalyzing. It's... Say I overanalyze things. Delivery... You are... One God. person telling a joke, one person telling a bad joke, and another person telling a bad joke with a much better delivery is something different than someone telling a joke and then someone else telling a joke in a funny voice. 
Just because they make their voice funny and they and they're sporadic oh, oh, doesn't oh, make oh, it or them oh, funny. What I was gunning for, delivery of this song, is what I enjoyed. That's I couldn't find the word. The delivery of this song, I loved it. I don't it need to like it. Sounds like a typical K-pop song. I don't know K-pop. I don't listen to K-pop. Song. That's the main difference. I don't listen to K-pop. There are very few foreign songs I actually listen to, and they're only the ones that actually stick in my head. Gangnam Style is one of them. I don't know. I just laugh. I, I enjoy it. I actually heard recently this is going to be a very stereotypical stereotypical thing for me to say, but after I found the orchestral version, I'm like, well, there's got to be a metal version out there. <laughs> there is. I have it. Oh, I found, no, I found plenty, and I found one that's really good by this guy named Jesse M. Something. It's like it, the actual riffs that he made, like they don't really actually match up to the actual beat of the song, but they work so fucking good. And yeah, you like, I'm, I think I'm, 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 I might be the same one I have. Is it just a guy playing a guitar and like he has a recording equipment no, in the background? No, it's an actual dude that took the live version of the, the no, live no, version no, of no. the song, like the video of it, but he's made a metal cover of it. Like, no. let me link it. Micro no. did a video to it. I'm gonna go I'll, it. I'll link the uh, one I'm talking about after the podcast, but but yeah, just. Uh, that's just to me to something to like uh look I mean just this is something just to just to watch as time goes by too just to see where this goes from here because I think if I'm not mistaken it's at uh two hundred and seventy five million views two ninety five two oh fuck it went up already two ninety five so it is million. almost at three hundred million views I believe the top viewed video on YouTube is like at four fifty I think it's mm-hmm. Charlie bit my finger or something like that mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. I mean this guy no, it's not. What is it now? It's something by Fred, probably. No, I'm pretty sure it's Justin Bieber's baby. No, it's not. Oh, oh yeah, people always flock to is bad it... music. About what? But, uh, I can have sworn, because I, usually they, well, I, I mean, I guess in that sense, it would be taken off for music video stuff as well, but I know a lot of times music metrics are taken down. But, uh... Something has more than 782 million views. Is... Yeah, like I said, it's probably just. I know it has the most likes on YouTube right now. Just oh, the Gangnam Style has the most likes. It has like three million likes. Oh, mm, that's and, probably correct. And yeah, uh, it has not two ninety five, two thousand nine hundred fifty six thousand. Two no two million nine hundred six thousand. What you mean two hundred ninety six million? You mean views? Two ninety two million nine hundred fifty six thousand. Oh, likes. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. But yeah. That ate up a lot of time. I, Who I expected th- that. That's just something they presented that... me with a bad song. <laughs> a bad popular song. I'm just gonna ask real quick. Anyone here besides me get Borderlands too? I own it. Beat it. You got it. You beat it. What do you think of it? No. What do I no, wait, 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 think of it? I yeah. Love- I know. Like, didn't you fuck? Yeah. Gearbox did an excellent job with this sequel. I'm gonna put it like this: Gearbox is now the king of continuing a story that was basically non-existent, and it's also the king of trolling. I'm gonna, I'm gonna PM you real quick. Uh, proceed. Tell me if you got to this mission yet. I beat everything. Oh, then did you beat the um? You won't know what it is, DH. Yeah, you won't know what it is. So chill out, Splinter Cell Sky side. I'm I'm just gonna mute us anyway. No, 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 stop. Love that. Then what happened in Korra? (laughs) Yes. Remember, we have walked in on our discussion of freaking uh, uh, Gundam style. No, um, (laughs) Hunger Games. Don't care. I still don't care. I the amount of wanted... fucks I give. Yeah, I, I never cared. Do uh Oh, wait. Um, oh, God. What was I just thinking? Have you watched Corey yet? Me? No. <laughs> DA. No, he hasn't. I'm going to strangle you. Watch Korra, you lazy to. fucking cocksucker. I'm Jesus God. To. It I will... was an attempt, an active attempt on my part. I will but find failed. your lost braids, tie them in a freaking necktie, and just They were dreadlocks. You. Whatever. <laughs> dreadlocks. <laughs> And Grab strangle you with and your own hair. Shot. But anyways, what you were uh, mentioning something you wanted to talk about, DA. Did I? Yes. No, you didn't. The nerd thing. Yes. Oh, the nerd thing. I said that was a possible topic. Before you go, can I, I say th- that the ending of The Hunger Games was complete garbage? Oh, boy. So you think so, too? Yeah, it was garbage. It was... Right. It, it, it wasn't... It wasn't like... it. it 
it just made no sense. They wrap it. It was like it was too quickly done. They wrapped things up too quickly, and there wasn't this big old thing like it was supposed to be. It was just like, oh yeah, mm, we're done here. All right, sorry. It was. It was I can fair. see that. For anyone who's read Aragon, it ended pretty shittily as well. But uh, Aragon, yes. You think the end of the Inheritance Cycle was bad? I didn't like. Do I need to slap you? I didn't like it. It end. It ended the way it's we knew. To it heaven, gonna have to choke a bitch. It, dude, we knew how it was gonna end in the very beginning of the book. We all knew what was, what was gonna happen from that dream he had in the first book. We knew what was gonna happen. I don't know. Why? Why were you surprised at the end when it ended that? No, way? I wasn't. Su- I wasn't surprised a, at all. Why do you like it? I, I I personally loved that ending. I think it was absolutely just, adored it. I just personally thought it was like kind of almost like too telegraphed in a way. I'd have to no, like, I especially because I, I haven't read it in a bit. Oh, I'd have to reread it in order for it to like you know cement why. No. But I just I did not come away like you know like as uh, satisfied as I did like say Harry Potter. Oh gee. Here we go. Harry Potter in comparison to Aragon. Okay, first off, Paolini. He's none of the Aragon books compared to any of the any of the Harry Potter books. That's just what ha- that's just I was it. just throwing out an example, good sir. But the thing is, the every bit of the Aragon book works for every bit of the series. There's no part of those books where you turn around and say, "Oh, that doesn't seem to fit," or "That doesn't seem that that doesn't sound right for how the story's going." Every bit of it is perfectly, meticulously placed. I didn't story. say anything about the other books. Beginning to end, that story was flawless to me. Flawless victories. I wouldn't say flaw. I like to me, like, I'm not saying it was a bad series at all. I'm just saying I didn't exactly like how it ended. I thought I it, it was a perfectly good series, but like, I mean, it's not the best basically, thing I've ever read. The, everything in the world was righted. Now he just need, now basically Aragon was the one who needed to rebuild. You get to come. <laughs> what? What did, ah, he, what, did yeah. he, what did he say? <laughs> I'm just gonna like slap. That him was an extremely lame joke. Not the whole like, BG. I'm gonna slap him at Yomacon. BG. If you want, if, if you, you want saying. lame jokes, if you want lame jokes, I can freaking break out the Michael Jackson ones oh, I heard today. God damn it! No. Proceed. No. Proceed. You said you disagree with me. I said you disagree with the pro. You get the con. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I heard but, uh, that. But, uh, the, please we'll be ret- jump onto a highway, please. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just bored. I, I, I have no stake in that conversation. So, just- so actually, the thing we were talking about, like, uh, I think it was BG or someone, BG or DA said, like, asking, like, are you a nerd? Oh, it's DA. And uh, like I don't, mean, I'll, don't take can, a, don't take away his few accomplishments in this podcast. Yeah, do you consider form. yourself a nerd? I think all of us can say yes. But the thing I is, say no. Why? Because it's become so mainstream that uh, no, no, actually, there is that, no like this is something it's a nerd. It's like you know, it's it's, it's a wildly accepted. We edit. Like, like We're it's nerd. about what about we of the twenty video of the twenty movies that are most grossing. I, what about fifteen of them are nerdy properties? They're they're faux nerds or pseudo nerds. No, this is actually a question. Or they like they indulge themselves in nerd things. This is this is look the, look around us, dude. This is the question this I wanted to pose. This is nerd stuff, okay? Where's my rarity? Just, oh, you got to look on this room. Yeah. All right, BG, DA. This is the question I wanted to pose. As DA said, like, being nerdy has definitely become more popular in a sense. Like, I don't I don't see people getting... I mean, I'd actually have to go to a middle school or an elementary school to find out, but I don't see people getting picked on as much for, like, nah. liking certain nerdy things. No. The thing is, though... No. Like no, not really. you can I, see, I, I, it, it, that, it just means depends that, on where you go. Some places are more accepting than others. Yeah, that but, just means that being a nerd isn't as quote unquote uncool as it yeah, used to be. Sean. But we're still nerds. Oh yeah, but uh, the thing, the question I wanted to pose is just something I just thought of randomly. I was just sitting in a class because like there's like a lot of say like you know big stocky it's guys that can be that pretty much just like look like jocks or look like sports guys that are nerds. Like they play games all the time. So. Uh, but can you imagine a like someone that looks like the stereotypical nerd being a jock? Yes, I've seen it. I've dealt with it too. No field goal. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to shut the fuck up and just sit here. 
Like, there's this kid in my class. Like, I don't need, I don't mean to be stereotypical or rude, but he just has, like, the really, 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 like, longer hair than I had. Nerdy glasses. <laughs> freckles. Like, stuff like that. I can't imagine that head sitting on, like, a 6'4", 220 football linebacker frame. Yep. I can't imagine that. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Well, it's kind of like, like, around here there's an anime club, and the girls that go there... They're not that, you know, whole stereotype thing of, oh, God, they're unkempt. They don't take care of themselves. They don't bathe. They don't choose. They're dead. No, yes. they're damn fucking adorable. Yeah, same. And one of, the, and, and one of them, she's uh, just turning 20. She's one I'm making a move on. That I'm, We're starting as friends, and hopefully we're going to develop more than that. But, yeah, she, there's <sighs> none of them are nowhere near the stereotype. They all oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. act like regular people. That they is what look, I tell people for anime conventions. It's, it's like, it's I mean. dumb. There is only the closed mind, and you're gonna see stupid shit. Yeah. Basically, I'm just gonna throw that out there. At least in my in my in my college, basically, there's the gaming rooms, and in the both campuses that I I, I deal with, the one that I used to go to out in uh, Brentwood, where I used to live, and now the campus out here, and the Ammerman campus out in Selden, now where I live now, both campuses, both gaming rooms have girls that are fucking go from adorable to hot as fucking hell, and it was funny watching this 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 chick. I, I would I would definitely. Give like an eleven out of eleven out of ten, sitting there and destroying super nerd looking dudes in Super Smash Brothers. I'm uh, talking. She was playing as Pikachu <laughs> and just wrecking things. There's um, there's a chick in voice acts called Sid Snap, and I'll get a video of her so you guys in the call can see this. What she looks like? She's fucking good looking, yet she's a gigantic voice actor and a gigantic freaking yeah. anime like, nerd like we are. Oh, this we girl was I, like. Was like dressed to like the fucking millions and styled up like in every which way. Like she was going to a club, and here she is sitting there with a bunch of nerds slaughtering them with Pikachu in in in, in uh, Super Smash Brothers. And I was just sitting there like, all right, I have officially either they've been slipped, slipped something in my drink, or I am like fucking. I have finally lost my goddamn. I'm gonna mind. just throw a name fun. out there. Jessica Negri. Enough said. Yep. Basically, I'm gonna compare it to yeah. I'm gonna compare it to that. People That's, that yeah, listen yeah, to the podcast, yeah, yeah. I I, re- I uh, recommend you go Google Jessica Negri. You will be pleased. Okay, here this is this is Sydney. She's, she was, she's opening a thing that she got sent <laughs> in the mail, but that's her. Da, she has a coney or a coney. A pony cosplay as well, if you would like to look at that. A Coney? Did you honestly start going into Coney? Yes, I, I mixed up pony and cosplay. To, she, she should go to conventions dressed like that. It'd be freaking beautiful. Wait, who is this? Jessica Negri. This is Sid Snap. Oh, okay, sorry. Wh- who is Snap this? Snap is a voice. She, she, um, you know that new series I think Masako is doing that Rosario plus Vampire abridged? Yes. Yeah, she's Maka. I mean, sorry, Mocha. Oh god, they're making it a bridge of that. Yeah, it's actually pretty f- it's decent, but like yeah, she plays Mocha in it. I know her on Skype. She's a really cool person. I'm actually speaking of uh Team Four Star, I'm wondering if they're gonna release Stop anything. Speaking of Team Four Star <laughs> nowhere near referencing Team Four Star. Masako. He said Masako X. He's anyways. a part of Team Four Star, but go ahead. X. Anyways. <sighs> Idiot. I'm wondering if they're going to release anything Dragon Ball related at Yomicon. Wait, what? Of course they are. No, either that or else um, they did post a trailer for Helsing Ultimate. Well, 3. that is a most definite that they're going to release at Yomicon. But oh, they're releasing an episode of of Helsing Three. But wait, what were we talking about, one? I said what? I'm I'm wondering if anything Dragon Ball related. Because I mean, they get... already oh, they're going to have an episode or a movie or something. My guess is a Trunks movie. Um, Not a movie. Just, I don't think so. Movie? Since they just crunk, crunk, cranked out a movie. Yeah, they just did. Eat. Um, they just cooler. did. Um, Cooler's the Revenge. Cooler will be. I know. Well, well, they'll at least have an episode. Of they will probably off. do history of Trunks. My guess is they will do history of Trunks, but not now. I'm my right. guess is since they ended the series, episode, the maybe. season a while ago now, that they basically they've had they they had been working on Cooler consecutively with the with the season. I I really think they're gonna have. Like at least Trunks or or episode episode one of the first. I don't think they're gonna do Trunks yet. It makes sense to to me. Yeah, that, I, I think I think they're gonna start. I mean, they're gonna do Garlic Junior though before they do Trunks. 
Yeah, they did say they were going to do that. Just, I, mean, I hope they, uh, they skipped They said they had something big. No, 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 no. Garlic. They're definitely doing Garlic Jr. because, in, especially oh. in the movie, where uh, Krillin is getting licked by Icarus, he's like, oh, yeah, Marin, lower. The fact that they mentioned Marin, who is a uh, filler Didn't character. Say stop. <laughs> what smells like what dragon's like. breath? Pure what shame, like. Goku. There's my new background. But, uh, yeah, they're definitely going to do Garlic Jr., all the Marin stuff they cannot pass up, and that's what's going to make it incredibly funny. Because it was horrible. I just like everyone. Everyone everyone thought it was horrible. That's what's going to be funny as hell. But but yeah, I'm hope I'm. I mean, really don't know. I'm guessing Lil Karibo will have something Yu-Gi-Oh related. I'm wondering if he'll have the evil counsel of him being drunk, since it'll be a year anniversary from his roast. Wait, what? The, okay, okay. Really last think, year during his you, roast, a pistol. You really think he'll be drunk again? No, 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 no. I'm saying he was talking about how he would do an evil council video, where Merrick was drunk off of his ass, and, and, and that was a whole year ago now. I he know. didn't do it. No, no, no. I'm saying as pretty much to celebrate a year from that, he could do it. I think that'd be fitting. And silence. I like. Oh, I, I started see it. I just. I don't know. Oh, BG doesn't care about us. He's too busy <laughs> thinking about his stupid tournament. It's not stupid. <laughs> Some of the best MK players in the country are going to be there. Oh, that's I like me to... saying Tara Strong is going to be there. You just like that... her. No, I like Tara Strong. She okay, that's like me post... saying Andrea Liebman is going to be there. Yeah, there you go. Who cares? Oh, don't say that. She's the voice of Fluttershy. It's like Who me cares? saying It's like me saying Christopher Sabat's going to be there. And then getting introduced to him as Matt. <laughs> you Broderick. No, 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 no. DA, DA no, tried to get a video for me of Chris Sabat at Monster Con and called me Matt. I I was awake all night. It was tired. And, and I had so much caffeine. Five espresso shots from a. Still forgot his name, dude. He has a generic white boy name. <laughs> Matt, my, 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 that sounds kind of racist towards me. That sounds kind of racist. Yeah, it's anti-racism. <laughs> His name is Matt. Uh, we're, we're, random, random white boy named M. Matt, Mike, I'm the only one here Max. with a weird name. You all oh, yeah, being white named boy John name. Wayne is not weird at all. Shut, shut the fuck up. <laughs> my full first name is John Wayne. My name is King Brown. King Edward Brown the Third. Yes, you shut up. <laughs> Hi, mother. We okay, have all ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> King Edward? That's your new name. King Edward. Don't fucking care if you don't like it. King Edward. King Edward. All means. I've been called worse. Burger the King Burger Edward. King. The Burger King. <laughs> Burger King Edward. Burger King that was one. <laughs> the fucking Burger King. How does it feel to be working at Burger King with your name be King? It seems like it's the perfect job for you. <laughs> That's what Kanye called him in the bathroom. Yo, man. Yo, Burger King. He got the book of the Big Mac. <laughs> that will never die. That will never die. Never die. Actually, speaking of that never dying, uh, it's been a little bit since we've since I've actually remembered this. We have actually been doing podcasts for over a year. Woo! And I've been in a good chunk of them because I'm a fucking member of the studio, apparently. Woo! We need yeah, to do an MVP. Woo! Uh, yeah. I think Subasa has more fans <laughs> than DA. Me? Yeah, I'm pretty sure on our podcast people like. Okay, okay, okay. Right now, I'm just gonna say it. In before already bringing the black man down. In before it. I'm not even gonna let it happen. Nope, 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 nope. So much. Nope. <laughs> Unlimited note works, no. <laughs> oh, you soup. Oh, the name falling. Football. Uh, so what if I thought 2 plus 2 Football. is 9? 2 plus 2 is 9? No, 2 plus 2 is 22. Learn the hey, math. Uh, is, is he getting mad at a football game? Yes, I was. What game? Fine. Uh, the Browns and the uh, Ravens. Uh, <laughs> I heard Josh Cribbs got killed. Do do. What? Did you know what happened to the Jets? What? Did they, I, did, I didn't hear what This is a said. rare topic on the podcast, sports. <laughs> but go ahead, proceed. What happened to the Jets? 
fucking when they, they they beat the Dolphins, but they suffered like a massive injury. I forgot his name. Darrell Revis. Yep, Revis. Star oh. cornerback. Oh. Yep, he's out. I heard for the Browns that Josh Cribbs got like annihilated or something. Oh yeah, he got his head taken. <laughs> annihilated. They were afraid he was paralyzed for a second. <laughs> really? I like how you put that, Mike. I heard he got annihilated. Well, so like I the, the other phrase I heard was he got killed. I'm like, wait, 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 wait. Literally, like one of my f- my roommate told me. I was like, they what? were afraid of it because he was just laying there. Jesus. He got a shot to the head so vicious. I'll have to look at that later. <laughs> what's the What's the damage? I gotta ask. Being a Clevelander. It's 16-23, 10 seconds left. Cleveland has the ball on the 40. In Baltimore's favor, I'm guessing? What? In Baltimore's favor, I'm guessing? Oh, yeah, they, they got 23. Oh, yeah. Of course. Uh, of course. Hey, they could tie the game right now with this pass. Yeah. That's... Detroit did it, and then they blew it on a freaking... What the freak, center? Anime you podcast. Anime topics. Discussing football. Yep. Oh, wow, a bacon shortage in, 30, in 2013. Oh, yeah, cool. That. that year, I'm going to kill myself. If, if they stopped making that bacon beer and bacon soda, there'd be more. Yeah, then I apparently, yeah. apparently yeah. Yeah. Is, is Can- there's going to be a bacon shortage Is in Canada having a maple syrup shortage, too? I thought I read that somewhere. Um, If there were, I wouldn't be here. I'd be hanging myself from a tree. Yeah, I can imagine no bacon, no syrup. You just you, There's no reason no to live bacon, in Canada. No syrup, no reason. Fuck it. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, it's funny. We we actually we have a helium shortage. We're going to have a bacon shortage. Helium storage. That's short. That's gonna suck. You can't even send the fucking rope up to hang yourself with a goddamn balloon. No <laughs> helium to do it with. Yeah, the, 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 helium is like three times the price here. Oh, I have to use physical labor, like hanging from a tree. <sighs> no, 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 no. Lynching. Before you die, there's something you have to first do world no problems. I can't hang myself you know, from a balloon. You... <laughs> You boys know how to freak out a Walmart employee without going up to the counter with condoms and um, lube? How? You buy three things. A Justin Bieber poster, a birthday card for an eight-year-old girl, and a bottle of Viagra. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just... Or, so we, we reached a dark, you know, dark standard, place in this podcast. Know, <laughs> um, <laughs> you know the standard. Uh, duct tape, nylon rope, and a ski mask. That should probably be. All right, so who's the reason new chapters of Naruto and Bleach? <laughs> I read Naruto. All right, how do you feel with these new chapters? I've, I, 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 there his 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 past. I I figured it could go nowhere but good. I don't see I don't see how he could have did up, and so far he has nowhere not. but good. That so far he has good. not. I'm so far loving Obito's backstory. <sighs> I mean, I'm liking it, loving, but I wanted. No, I, I actually, I really like it. I, I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I just. How like... oh, dare you disagree with me, Rosie? You know, knowing that, knowing that Obito is Madara and Toby and shit, playing Ninja Storm Generations, you realize now that Vic Mignogna is a horrible, horrible person. <laughs> yes, you needed a game to tell you this. <laughs> it was gonna no, but I have something for you guys. Well, I mean, I mean, look at it. Look at it. he abandoned his son, and then totally disowned him here with Mike. I mean, but anyways, I just like I'm. It's I'm liking it, but I wanted to get back to like the present. I have a feeling it will this chapter because this is when Rin is gonna die, and then we'll see Obito again. No, I, I think it's gonna go two more chapters. No, nah, this is that I believe. I'm pretty sure uh, of it. It's a shonen manga. Expect four more volumes of it. True. But so Bleach. Don't care. I've stated this sword, many, sword, many sword, a time. Sword, slam, sword, sword, sword. We want to be. Oh dragon my god! Sword, you sword, suck. Sword. I think that Just is the consensus. The bathroom, but... What? <laughs> just, I mean, uh, just as somebody who's reading Bleach for the sake of just reading it now, if you're reading it and you know what's going on, there's just really no hope left for this series at all. There's been no hope. As soon as they started with this arc after the time skip. I know, but it's like, it, it's like they had a chance. When, no, when, was, when, no, no, no. no. It, it looked like it could have turned around when Yamamoto unleashed his Bankai. It looked like, that the chapter was so badass, and the follow-up chapter was so badass. Bonkai is water. 
Wait, what? Up until the very last page of this last chapter, I was I was interested again. I was getting interested. At the very last page, I just shook my head and went, "Ugh, there goes everything." I was expecting that though. I kind of wasn't. I was. I was. I guess. I, I mean. I guess I was just in, in denial. I mean, why? This is like. Why it, would they wasn't. have the Don't last stop. final <laughs> fight not be Ichigo? I know, as in, like he. They could have used him as a plot device, saying that basically he was a filler for somebody else behind him. That's what they did. No, no, not. I mean, like as in the actual Quincy King was basically had somebody behind him. It's because we. <laughs> I'm just gonna stop now. I'm. You're just saying what happened. No, I, no, it's not the Quincy King. The last page, he, you hear that it's not the Quincy King. Yeah. It's nope. a, it's, it's nope. a, it's a shapeshifter who's taken his place. Okay, I, I don't see the difference, but whatever. As whatever. In the actual Quincy King, the person who's actually yes, doing this, I know, is I know. But now Ichigo has to come in and deal with Okay, something. okay, Ralph. Okay. You know what? You know what? Run, 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 run. I hate the series. I hate the series. I hate it. I stopped caring. And I was just like, why? Why? There's no One Piece this week, correct? Nope. Okay, that's all. Uh, Order needs to stop taking breaks. Hey, 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 he's a genius, okay? I don't care. He needs time to I research things care. instead of just throwing them at the wall. I thoroughly hate this arc. Uh, you uh, like anything he proceeds? He likes Gungam style, he likes, whatever that shit is. He likes the screams of small children. No, John, that's you. The start of one... No, I just uh, like their wails of pain. Get it right. Jesus, God, you know me at all. <laughs> Suasa. <That's laughs> <gonna> yeah. <laughs> Calm the urge. Calm the urge. <laughs> Take oh, your mic. calling you John again. <laughs> yes, Ralphie? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Ralphie! All right, Sue. All right, Sue. Be sure to drink your oval tea, Ralphie. <laughs> you son of a <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Lone. Thank you, Lone. You give me ammunition to use. Hey, proceed. Oh, Start to stop laughing so hard, you'll put your eye out. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Dude, that movie is ingrained into me. I watch that every yeah, you freaking know they're Christmas. Making a sequel? What? Horrible sequel. They No, they did they're make a sequel. sequel this year. No, they made a sequel already a long time ago. It was same like different actors and stuff like that. Same family though. So it's I don't care. It's probably a sequel of a sequel or whatever. But yeah, like and the fact that it was also filmed in Cleveland, like the house that uh, they filmed in is a museum for that movie. Like it has like the uh, the lamp and. Uh, like Santa, the whole Santa thing. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what? The... Yeah. What? <laughs> what? Are you lying? I. What are you laughing at? That's fucked up. Oh, that's Jesus, proceed. I can't even look at it. It's not on the recording. This actually indicates that they're married. So <laughs> had to bring down the phone. It's not a no, 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 you see, no, you see, guys. No, you guys, 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 it's a picture. Guys, you don't seem to realize when they get married, it starts beeping because they're recording you. <laughs> Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> All right, we are pretty much at an hour mark, so we'll probably call it quits here. Don't you love? As soon as I came in, it went to shit. Oh no! This <laughs> this episode was shit already. We had no topic. Oh god, no! <laughs> no topic. Add Subasa. Best idea ever. Yep. Can't fucking indeed. Deal. All right. <laughs> So we will call it quits there. We will hopefully be coming back next week with a topic if we can actually organize ourselves. Most likely not, but uh, we're actually going to try to get the comic book episode in soon. It's just more or less we're trying to get my roommates involved 
and we just have a whole bunch of different conflict conflicting schedules. Or... I was so ready for that comic crap. I started reading all no. of fifty two. I'm ready to. I'm so fucking ready. All right, I will definitely but, push it. Also, ladies and gentlemen, it is getting closer to YomaCon time. So, yep. a few more weeks, we'll be doing our pre-Yoma and then Yoma and then post-Yoma. So, it'll be, it'll be, uh, be ready for that one too. Yeah. Yoma epicness overload. Yoma. We are all very excited, but me in particular, I don't know why. I'm just really excited for it. All righty. Because I'll be dealt ass deep into Assassin's Creed by then. No, because uh... it's because of Peace Apocalypse. There we go. Yes, true. All righty. Mike, Mike, we are bringing that to the room for lunch that day. Yep. That is happening. (laughs) All right. We will call it quits there, ladies and gents. Thank you for tuning in again, and we will see you next week. Later. I missed you all. I love you all. They keep me in a basement chained editing for them. Help me. Ended there. (laughs) 